guys, Ryan Van Adler back here with another video for you. Today, doing something, again, just a little different. I'm kind of stepping away from focusing on the Kemper, which is kind of most of what my channel has been so far, but by no means is that all that, you know, I kind of focus on. Um, today, I wanted to answer a question that I had for a long time until I decided to just try it and see what happened. And that question was, what happens, like, will a neck pick up work in the bridge? Is it going to be any different? Or is it really that big of a deal? And the short answer is no. Um, so the guitar that we were playing, the very intro, uh, this is my guitar Scout. It's a, well, started life as a 93 Fender made in Mexico Stratocaster, um, has been heavily modified, new neck, and then <laughs> covered in stickers. But the most important part is, let's see if you can see right here, I have a backwards tilted humbucker. Now this one, it is a Seymour Duncan the Jazz Neck, um, so the SH2 humbucker that's there. And quick story time with this one. Basically what happened was I got this guitar, the I got Scout, like the bass guitar, um, back when I was like 18, 19, and it was horrible. I hated the way it played. I, I traded a Telecaster for it. Um, I still don't honestly know why I did it. I hated the guitar at first, so I was kind of playing around with just like ways to fix it and make it sound a little, you know, more like what I wanted. Um, and I think part of that was just honestly having the three single coils definitely wasn't my jam, but also the fretwork on it was horrible. It was really sharp on the ends. Um, every kind of like setup tech that I took it to, they were like, yeah, this is kind of the best that I could do, make it a little more playable and get a little bit better, but it was just never quite there. So I just kept fiddling around with it. And what I was kind of thinking was the two things that inspired me were, I was thinking, okay, Billy Joe's blue, which I was inspired because he had kind of cut out the single coil, put a humbucker in. Um, his was kind of influenced by Eddie Van Halen, and so it's tilted the same direction. Um, the second thing that influenced me was kind of thinking about or what Hendrix did. Um, so since he took a right-handed Stratocaster, flipped it left-handed, then you had the kind of reverse tilt here, so giving just a little bit more, um, like the bass strings a little bit closer to the bridge. So I feel like it's just a little bit kind of like honkier almost, a little throaty. Um, and I just had this humbucker lying around, and I figured, you know, I've got it. It only cost me 40 bucks. It's really easy to unsolder it if I need to. And I'm not liking the way the guitar sounds anyway. So let's go ahead and throw it in and like see what happens with it. And the thing that was cool was it worked and it doesn't perfectly line up. You can see like the strings, they don't line up over the poles exactly like they're supposed to. Um, you know, there's a lot of small details there, but this guitar isn't supposed to be perfect. I mean, it's, it's kind of like a parts caster pawn shop guitar. It's meant to be beaten up and sweat on and just get the gig done. I mean, it's supposed to be covered in beer and blood. And, you know, if you look close enough, the pickups like the white, there is some blood from just where I strike. I always end up hitting my middle finger, busting that open at shows. So there's blood scattered across it. Like this guitar isn't supposed to be perfect. And that's one of the things that I like about it is it's, you know, kind of its own tonal creation. And, you know, like when you, when you listen to it, it's kind of cool because it's got, like I said, something different to it. Like, even if we're doing just, you know, some power chord stuff. And I'm just playing through the, uh, the Kraken profile on my, uh, my Kemper. It's one of the free ones. I mean, it sounds great. Like, this guitar, it's got... I guess technically it has a, uh, a little switch right here that I think is a Gilmore mod. Honestly, I haven't actually looked to see quite what it does, um, but just kind of like tonally, I think it's Gilmore mod. It was on there when I got the guitar, and I just I don't play around with controls very much to really care. Um, so even, let's, let's flick it just to see. fun guitar it's um this is honestly one of my favorites in my collection so really what i hope this kind of conveys is that there's rules in music like oh this is a neck pickup this is a high gain pickup this is meant for jazz this is meant for whatever and you know rules are meant to be broken and especially in rock and roll and punk rock and kind of everything that i play everything that i do everything that i kind of value with music is about kind of seeing the rules acknowledging them and then breaking them and i feel like you know do it with your pickups too. Do it with your guitars. Do it with your bass. There's nothing wrong with modifying stuff. And I think 
that's going to give you your own kind of tone. Um, you know, I'll play this against other Stratocasters, and it just it has its own thing. At the end of the day, that's kind of what I'm looking for, and it has its own voice. This also isn't the only guitar that I've done that has this. I have a second one. Grab that off the wall real quick. I've also got this guitar, which is called St. Jimmy, Green Day song. Um, can tell Green Day is my favorite band. They're the reason I got into music. Um, but this one basically started life as a Jim Root Squire Telecaster. And pretty much everything else on it is stock. The only thing I've done is I ripped out the pickups and then basically stickered over the neck because I only really use a bridge pickup for anything. Um, but with this one, it has a bare knuckle, uh, I think it's the afterburner pickup in there. So I didn't really know what to do with it for the longest time. I actually had a, a different pickup in here. It was like a Fender Blacktop, Fender kind of PAF sort of clone. Um, and I had this lying around, so I decided, hey, I already have one guitar that has a neck pickup in the bridge. Why not do that with the second one with my other Fender that's kind of the same idea? So I threw it in there, and this one... <laughs> It's another, another guitar, another neck pickup in there. Now, traditionally, neck pickups, they're lower gain. They're going to be a little bit lower, lower output, rather. So you're getting less gain from it, um, just because the string vibrates more up here. So you don't need as strong of a magnet as many winds. But when it comes to the kind of pickups that I play, like everything is kind of higher output anyway. So even the neck pickup is still, say, like a medium high output compared to like a normal bridge. And then when you're playing through high gain amps, I don't feel like you lose a ton. Now, if I was playing kind of John Mayer-esque, you know, stuff that's a little bit cleaner, a little more kind of articulate, would I notice a difference? Yeah, maybe. But like I said, in kind of, in the arena that that I play, <laughs> trying to get to arenas, right? Um, yeah, I feel like the bigger thing is just, first of all, play around with it. Don't be afraid to experiment, break the rules, worst case scenario. Like, the best suggestion I can give to somebody that is either a new guitarist, or even if you've been playing for a while, or a bassist, or whatever, is learn how your instruments work, learn how to work on them yourselves, that way you can play around with it. Um, most of the stuff that I do, I'll wire it myself, and it may not work the first time, but it's easy enough to watch a YouTube video, or to try it a second time, and the worst case scenario, you pop it back out, there's no harm lost, you know, maybe a couple hours of time, but it's not the end of the world. Um, so really, yeah, the best piece of advice, the one, like the takeaway that I want, this video to have, as I realize I'm kind of rambling a little bit, is don't be afraid to experiment. Break the rules, see what happens. Like, just because it says one thing, use it for the other. I don't know, when it comes to gear, it's like a lot of it is kind of, it's fun to, to break the rules and use things for what they're not supposed to be used for and just to do something different because at the end of the day, when you're trying to find your voice, like who cares about what you're supposed to do and just do it. If it doesn't work, do it again. So. By the way, that's enough for this uh, this rambling. I hope you guys got something out of it. If you've ever thrown kind of a, a neck pickup on a bridge or a bridge pickup in a neck, which I haven't done that, I need to try to see how that would actually sound. Um, you know, let me know in the comment section. I'm curious if anybody else has done this. Maybe I was just kind of desperate enough in high school and and cheap enough that I was like, hey, I'll throw it in and see what happens. But let me know what you guys thought. I'll see you guys in the next one. And I promise Tone Clones is coming back soon. Been really busy, but a new episode of that coming soon. So see you guys later. So serious, so serious, you're making it with the crowd. Why so serious, so serious, you're going to sit down. Yes, you're so serious.